already had like, I think it was mentioned in two or three talks already, this academy. Promo writes about Wayland, we developers talk about Wayland, but Wayland is a very, not pre, it, it can mean different things depending on the context. And with this talk, I wanted to, to look at not all, I don't claim exhaustiveness, but um, some of the meanings that, that the term Wayland can have. Um, but first things first, um, this is my first academy, my first real academy, so quick, who am I? I'm, I'm David, one of the Davids. Um, I am, I'm a KDE developer. Um, I, I joined KDE in 2019. Currently, I, I work at Plus Systems um, with, with the other David that had a talk yesterday. Um, and I don't know how it happened. Like, when I joined Plus Systems in 2020, I, I never did, like, Valence stuff in Plasma. But somehow David gave me tasks and, and, and Somehow I'm doing now Valent development on Plasma. I don't know how it happened. Um, <laughs> and the real kind of reason I thought of this talk, I also read comments under news articles and on Pharonix, on Reddit, and people write about Valent. I think you're not right. You're not, what you're writing is not correct. That, that's not how it works. So <laughs> that's maybe the real reason for, for this talk. Um, so some things that you are guaranteed to read there are like, yeah, Valent doesn't implement something. Like, it's, it's missing this feature from X. Most, most famously, probably, I can't position my, my, my application uh, absolutely on the screen or whatever. Um, Valent is also a display server like the X server was. Or um, the most recent one I read that your application will need to support three different valent uh, implementations and need to have code for for every one of those compositors. Like if you run on Plasma or GNOME or with Sway. Um, yeah, let's start with the first meaning of valent. First, valent is of course a project which develops valent, and it's also a community. Here um, is a screenshot of the uh, Valent group on, on the uh, free desktop GitLab, and we can see there are some projects there, and there's an IRC channel on OFTC, there's a mailing list called Valent Devil, and there, of course, also belong to the Valent community all the other Valent developers working uh, in other communities like the Matter developers on GNOME, the GTK developers developing the GTK backend, and so on. And of course, we are also part of the Valent community with Plasma developing Quinn and Qt Valent Compositor and our apps. Um, so, Valent is, is about how we show things on the screen. How can an app get its UI on the screen instead of using X? And to do this, applications need to talk to each other. We, we have a special application called the compositor that shows things on screen and the applications talk to it. And in order for the applications to talk to each other, there needs to be a great way how they communicate. Otherwise, uh, if, they, if, they, if they don't know how to talk to each other, it doesn't work. So Wayland is a wire protocol like, like Dbus is. It defines a syntax of bytes the two special the applications sent to each other. And yeah, it's an object-oriented object protocol. It means like each um, message the application sent to each other are identify an object and then a method on that object. Um, we say it's a request if the application is doing the, the uh, is sending the method and we call it an event if the compositor does it, but it, that doesn't matter. Just that it's a defined way of sending bytes across sockets to each other. Um, but that's only the syntax. It, it, if we only have syntax, we can't do anything yet. So we also need semantics. So Valent is also a protocol. It's um, the Valent 
repository contains a core protocol, and with that you can already do very much. You can show things on screen. Um, on, on the right of the, of the bullet point, I just um, added some, some valent debug output so it doesn't look that empty, but if, you, if you're interested, you can look it up. Um, you can do input like mouse, the, the compositor sends you when you remove your mouse or if you press the key on the keyboard. Um, and that's very good because otherwise the, applic the, the applications wouldn't know that you did something, right? And it also can do clipboard and drag and drop. It's already in the um, core protocol. And it, I think that's one thing I, I read somewhere that somebody claimed Valent doesn't have drag and drop or clipboard support. And <laughs> I don't know where that came from because on Plasma, you, you can just, on Plasma Valent, you can use your clipboard and drag and drop things. Um, so, and the Valent repository contains even more things because Valent is also a library and not only a protocol. Um, there are actually two libraries, libvalent server and libvalent client, one for writing your compositor and one for writing your client. Um, it already has a, a compiled version, a C compiled version with C bindings of the protocol included. Um, handles all the converting the, your request to this, this uh, bi binary format sen for sending it across the socket. And it also contains some utils for writing a server and a client, like um, handling different queues for different objects where the requests and events are handled. Um, it has some event loop support for your compositor. And also how, it, and it has facilities to, to integrate it into a custom event loop, like huge event loop. Um, there's also a third library, libvalent cursor, which handles um, basically your X11 cursor themes, but you get like valent images, uh, valent objects out that you can then interact with and send to your compositor to show a nice cursor on the screen. Um, but there are even more protocols like the core protocol. It doesn't include every, um, every functionality that, that people then realized later that they wanted. So we have the core protocol, which we already talked about. And then we have a thing called valent protocols, um, which are these additional protocols that are um, like, like extensions to the core protocol. And Alej will talk about it, how, how you create one and how people agree on that, but some interesting things uh, of the uh, additional protocols are XDG shell, which we use for window management, XDG activation, which we use to activate a window of another process. Tablet input is one of these protocols or deem ABUF, so we can um, show things and images on screen more efficiently. And finally, we also have custom protocols in Plasma. Also, GNOME has their custom protocols like um, that are used by our components and are not intended for, for your general application, like Plasma Shell uses custom protocols to communicate with Quinn, to, to place panels, um, to manage your screens, and so on and so forth. But if you later, if later people think it can be useful to, to other applications, we can also upstream them um, instead of just creating new ones, of course, in valent protocols. Um, if some example for this are layer shell, which came from WR roots, and we started using that in Plasma, and is currently being in process of being standard, standardized. And for example, idle notify2, which was, uh, came from us um, as implementation of K idle time on valent, and it tells you when, when, when the user is not using the computer and people thought that is useful for your general application. And so there's also, it even wasn't even proposed by us. Um, Simon Sayer from WR Roots proposed it to, to standardize the protocol upstream. So it's quite cool. Um, now we can look at this beautiful picture and I take a sip of water. So 
doing this talk and thinking about what to talk about, um, I had a realization that maybe in the end I was wrong when, when really and being angry reading all these comments. Because what the user sees is if they look into, into the session in SDDM, it says plasma x11 and plasma valent. So for the user, it doesn't matter everything I talk, just talked about. Valent is what they see. It's, um, it's the entire suit of implementations and interactions between them. It's plasma, it's quin, it's uh, cute valent client, it's GDK, GDK valent, it's some, some native valent app written there and all the interactions between them and if something goes wrong, valent is at fault and we can't be ang and I can't be angry about it. I, I think nobody can because we don't expect our users to be that technical. In an ideal world, ideal world, we wouldn't have this switcher at all. Like there would just be plasma and, and the underlying technology was, should not matter to the user. But sadly we are on there. But I, I think when, when reading this comment, these comments, it's, I shouldn't be angry, but uh, maybe, maybe I, sh I should be a little bit angry. Because, because it's always a matter how you phrase it, right? But if someone is angry, then there's a problem that we need to solve. And it's our, our task to make Valent as good and, and even better than the, the X session. Um, with, and I think that, that it's kind of the conclusion already of my talk that, that we have to keep that in mind. Um, mm -hmm. And with that, I want to revisit some or two of the things I, I showed in the beginning of, of, of these comments that I read. So the one that applications need to support three different implementations, like one or even more for every compositor. Um, I think that's not true because first the protocols are standardized and, and most, so everybody implement, has to implement the core protocol, it's standard, the additional protocols are standard and most of them are implemented by most compositors, mine, modulus, some, some things. Um, and all the implementations like Quinn, Matter, Qt, GTK, they try to follow the standard as it's written. And if a, if a developer discovers there's, there's divergence in implementation and it sometimes can cause bugs because the events come in different orders or because it's not defined in which way to send them, then we, people go to the IRC channel or to, to GitLab, file an issue, and then people talk discuss and we find a conclusion what, what it should be the correct thing to do. And so we, we, we reduce this, this need for, there's no need because everybody tries to do it the best way there is and, and correct ambiguities. Um, also that, like I think it was with, um, a screen sharing or something that uh, the people said, or, or for, for screenshots that you, you need to support the three different ways. But I think in the future, or, it's all, or in general, it's also not true because if somebody or two different people have similar custom protocols to do a thing, then, then there will be a process and people try to agree on a, on a common one and upstream that. Or even, or even maybe Valent is not the correct place for the protocol. Like maybe it's better suited to, to, a port, to the desktop portal like screenshots or screen sharing. And, and of course we, we, we use Qt as a toolkit and that also reduces the need to, to have some of these like when I said not every compositor implements uh, every protocol, for example, XDG decoration is the most famous one. And so if you use server-side or client-side decorations and Qt handles that for you, and if you're writing a native app for some reason, 
like Valent Native, there's libdcore, which handles that for you, so you don't need to care if your compositor implements the protocol or not. Um, the second thing is that Valent doesn't support X, Y, and C um, like Valent in the general sense. And that can, of course, be true, but, but it's not like we say we, we, we want to, to have your session be broken. Your, your use case is not useful. But um, we, we, it will not be that the Valent developers will say, um, yeah, you can't do that. Let's do it like you say. We want to understand first the use case because it's maybe possible in a different kind of way. Or you can give some kind of more data to the compositor so you can, it can fulfill your need. So it's not like blindly porting uh, the X protocol to valent protocol and then having the same thing again, but understanding the use case and finding a good solution for the, for the missing use case. Um, and then we can create a custom protocol if it's just something for, that we're missing maybe between Plasma and Quinn, or it's, may, it's for every application we can create a standard protocol and if it's a, if it's a problem people will help out from, from other communities. Um, or maybe, again, maybe a portal is the correct place, but people will try to find a solution if there's really a problem. Then we can implement it in Valent client, in, in Quinn, in Plasma, wherever. Maybe some cust a bit of custom code in the app. And then everyone is happy. And that's a really nice thing. And now without break, it's now Aleix's turn and he will talk about us how you do Valent protocols. <laughs> <laughs>